Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm hoping you're having a blessed Sunday. I'm continuing my series of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And now we're going into the Joyful Mysteries. Should be an interesting meditation, not only for the Joyful, but all of them. Let's face it, we have so much to learn, don't we? So much to reflect upon and meditate on these beautiful biblical scenes that we recall in memory and as when we're praying those beautiful Hail Marys, the angelic salutations. Isn't that nice? So let's talk about the joyful mysteries and let's see what kind of color rose you have chosen for the joyful. That's interesting because we have glorious and we have luminous. I already know what kind I want for the luminous. But for the joyful, what kind do you want? I'm thinking I want like a pink, like a rose rose. <laughs> a rose color rose for the joyful. I'm going to say white for the glorious. But for me, you can pick your own color of rose for, of course, the joyful mysteries. And did I tell you about the, the roses? No wonder St. Therese showers us with roses. And the rosary is a crown of roses, rosary. The devil flees from the roses or the scent of roses. You ever see beautiful rose bushes around the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Therese? It's no wonder the devil flees from that type of flower. It reminds us of the passion of Christ, the thorn, and also the blossom of the rose, the sweet scent of Christ among us. Yes. So let's think of the color rose that we would like to meditate upon, of course, with these biblical meditations. I'm going to think of rose right now for joyful. And the first one is the Annunciation. When the Archangel Gabriel came to Mary in that secluded room in her home. So, biblical scholars will tell us that it was most likely in a private room. And the archangel came to her. And it was not necessarily that he just appeared and she was afraid. That's why he had to say, be not afraid. It was also because it was a room that was secluded off. Not to be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. So the archangel's message to Mary, we call that an angelic salutation. Hail Mary, dear Mary, you are full of grace. What is grace? God's life in us. That's what grace is, God's life in us. Mary, you have God's life in you. You are full of grace. Blessed are you among women. You were chosen. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. I like to talk about that word fruit. You know, for the first Eve, don't take of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden. Is that a literal fruit? Apple, orange, pear? Scripture scholars will tell us, no, it wasn't an actual fruit. 
it has a deeper meaning, the word fruit. Don't take of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden. So what was the angel speaking about? Don't take it. God has blessed you with the knowledge of goodness. Don't take from anything that would impede that. The fruit of the tree of good and evil. Don't take from that tree. God has already blessed you. But it's still giving you a free will. The devil tempted Eve and she took of the tree of good or the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then she allowed Adam to partake of that and they were banned from the Garden of Eden. The fruit. Don't take of the fruit of the tree. Literally, I don't think so. But it has a deep understanding. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Obviously Jesus did not, Mary did not have an apple or a pear, she gave birth to Jesus, because even the prayer, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. I found out later that the word Jesus was added to that prayer by St. Bernardine of Siena. It was blessed is the fruit of your womb, And the fruit of your womb is Jesus. So that's why we have to make sure that we don't take things literally, especially from the garden to now understanding the fruit of the womb. I know when we try to teach children at ages of five and six years old, it's easy to do an imagery. Don't you think so? Even when we're teaching them about Santa Claus, it's good to get an imagery and trying to tell the story through imagery and people and things like that, that that a young mind can grasp onto and understand better. It seems like we have, uh, some of us, think that that is all literal. There's a deeper meaning to that. If we could stretch our minds and dive into the mystery. Dive into the mystery of what it means. Don't take from the fruit of the tree. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Can we understand what that means? Can we grasp its understanding and move from literal to its spiritual connotation? I think we all can. But as young children, we were taught that they grab, you know, an apple. I guess for most first grade teachers, a fruit, the apple would be a good, good depiction. And in a lot of Christian art, you would see an apple in the mouth of the serpent. Have you ever seen that? You go to some of the images of Our Lady and her stamping on the serpent and in his mouth there's an apple. Comes from that kind of imagery. Don't take and so the, 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 the biggest point of this scriptural passage is that they disobeyed God. That they were disobedient. Mary is now the obedient one. The second Eve. The disobedient, the first Eve. The obedient one, the second Eve. So, there it is, the scene in Mary's home. A secluded room. 
Mary praying. And all of a sudden, the Archangel Gabriel comes. No wonder he said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I guess when we're outside and we see something, we're not as too terrified, we're outside. But we're in a room alone, I guess we get nervous. Be not afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive and bear a son. And he will save us from our sins. The Annunciation. How can this be? I do not know, man. The power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And henceforth the child will be born, will be called holy, the Son of God. Don't worry. What we may not understand about physical reality, God allows it to happen. You don't have to worry about that. God will allow it to happen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and overshadow you. That's why Mary's called the spouse of the Holy Spirit. Did you ever know that title? Why does she? Well, because the spouse of the Holy it's the Holy Spirit that will come upon her and will allow her to have a child. So we always include that beautiful title, Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit, right? So that's a beautiful way of like understanding that. And then Mary says, let it be done to me as you say. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. And with that, the angel left her. I love that. The, it's, it's like the end of Mass. The, the, the deacon dismisses us and we're done. There's no explanation, no nothing. Go in peace. Glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. End of discussion. Let's go. The same thing with uh, this encounter. Once Mary said, Yes, behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. With that, the angel departed. Because the angel is a messenger. He's not there to have tea and biscuits with Mary. Like, okay, let's see. How was your day, Mary? Like, what's going on? You know, no. He is a messenger sent from God to deliver the message. Once the answer has been given, the angel departs. We have a beautiful mural in St. Mary's Church right behind the ambo of the Annunciation. Beautiful. And there it is in a room. You can see the room. Little vase there, little table. Mary kneeling at prayer. And the Archangel Gabriel comes. Beautiful. So my rose is rose color for that joyful mystery. And the Annunciation The thorn. For me, that thorn is absolutely Mary being afraid. Mary not understanding. How can this happen? The thorn in that rose. Let's get our rosary out, okay? Rosary, a crown of roses. My little pink rose in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Well, thank you everybody for praying the first decade of this Annunciation of the Joyful Mysteries. It's nice to think about that whole scene. Were you thinking about it while you were praying? The room, uh, a secluded room with Mary alone, the archangel coming to her and asking her if she would be the mother of our Savior. And the whole word fruit, from the Garden of Eden to the tree with the fruit of good and evil, and for the fruit of the womb of our Blessed Mother, that 
the fruit of her womb, Jesus. A lot to think about as we pray the decade of the joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Tomorrow we're going to look into, of course, the visitation. And as you know, tomorrow is the beautiful feast of the Apostle St. Matthew. So I hope that you'll be able to join me tomorrow in praying the joyful mystery, the visitation, and to look into that beautiful biblical scene. God bless you, everybody.